So I have before me the latest ProArt Studio Book Pro 16, and it comes with the new Asus ProArt dial. And really the question is gimmick or game changer? Before we even start this video, for your initial impressions, what do you think? Comment below. Is it a gimmick or could it be a game changer for your productivity workflow, whether it be video editing, photo editing, 3D modeling, After Effects, and the like. Now, I spent about three weeks with this device, and I must say that for me, it's been a game changer. Now, this isn't necessarily new technology. We've seen dials before in something like the DaVinci Resolve consoles uh, for using it in their programs, maybe even the monogram, and different products that do similar things to this dial. We've even seen those rollerball mouses, you know, from like the 90s um, when laptops and desktop computers were trying to get more efficient with the way you interacted with the software inside of the computer. But the real question is, does having this on your device make the difference? Does always having productivity and a dial available to you matter on the day-to-day -day workflow? Now, to me, this made a big difference because I didn't have to remember to bring an extra device along, nor did I have to purchase an extra device when using this dial. So a monogram is gonna cost you anywhere from around uh, $400 to $1,000. And the DaVinci Resolve consoles are about that same price, if not more. Where this laptop, depending on the model you get, is anywhere from about $2,000 up to around $4,000, depending on the specs that you choose and it comes automatically with the dial. Now compared to something like an M16, which could be very similar to this package, you actually might be subtracting the cost of the laptop or adding a few hundred dollars depending on the season you buy it in. If you're curious about the exact pricing and availability, check out the links in the description below. But as far as productivity was concerned, I don't wanna send this laptop back. This one was provided by Asus, they sent it over for review. It's, it's been amazing. Working inside of Premiere Pro, I've seen it so easy to go ahead Set up my normal shortcuts, which I always set up the delete and cut key up here in the Q and W keys. So as I'm scrolling through my design, I just click Q to make a cut, slide it over, click delete, and I'm deleting clips as I'm moving through my timeline. Now what the wheel allowed me to do is just scroll through the timeline very easily, make my cut, make my delete, go ahead, slide it over, and keep on going down the road. So the efficiency was very, very valuable to me. Now, some areas that I saw even more value was in something like Photoshop. For the longest time as a designer, my big beef um, with efficiency in Photoshop was more along the lines of using the pen tool. Now, if I'm using the mouse or the trackpad, I'm you know working in Photoshop, brushing up on the piece of art or a thumbnail that I'm working on. But as soon as I wanna go change brush sizes, I now have to go up change the brush size, get all that edited, and then come back down and then you know keep working. Where with the wheel, I have quick access to those settings. So I simply can scroll through, either zoom in and out of the project, grab the opacity, brush size, or brush hardness, and make that change very quickly without ever having to move my hand. So the workflow efficiency for me was seen with A, keeping my hand on the keyboard and not looking down and then making the change, and then B, I didn't have to bring an extra device along to do this. And that's a lot of people saying, if you're an on-the-go creator, having an extra device, one, two, or three devices, can add up space and weight and be kind of cumbersome. And it can add up cost. Um, so really, this is allows you to have a cost-efficient option for something that would add extra cost to your design setup. Now, keep in mind, there are some drawbacks here. One of the drawbacks to me was that the manual click buttons were not as valuable as I had hoped. So I like the manual click buttons. You confidently know when you push what result you're gonna get, right click, left click, obviously center click for the different options in the programs. But the issue that I ran into is I felt kind of cramped. Whenever I was working, um, I always had to have my finger down here. So whether I was clicking and dragging, I had to have my finger down here and it just felt pretty inefficient. I wish I could be you know, working on the design, kind of have my laptop however I wanna have it, resting my hand over here, and you know, changing the brush size, changing the opacity, and then clicking and dragging and moving things. Really, I saw the most unenjoyable experience inside of Premiere Pro as I was trying to drag clips along the timeline, move things around. It just didn't feel as smooth as I wanted it to with these manual click buttons. I would have preferred something different. Now, in regards to left-handed users, that's something that you may have to either get used to or figure out your workflow. If you're a left-handed user, to me, it might be kind of awkward because for me as a right-handed user, I always use my predominant right hand for the trackpad and then my left hand becomes the dial and shortcut hand. Whereas if you're a left-handed user and you've always been using the trackpad on your left hand, the question then becomes, okay, what are you gonna do? Are you going to have your, you know, get a mouse and use your left hand on the mouse and then use the dial with your, you know, 
less predominant hand, your right hand, or are you gonna relearn how to use this system? So that'd be probably the biggest situation for left-handed people is what are you gonna do because the dial does not come in both positions. It only comes on the left side of the keyboard deck. My wife made a fun point. She's like, why don't, why don't I make it slide back and forth? And I thought, well, that would take a lot of R&D, but it was a cool idea. So if Asus can figure it out or maybe have an option to order it in a you know left-handed configuration, that could be a great option. Now, as far as typing on the keyboard, it doesn't get in your way. They have it set just about beneath the um, keyboard deck as it sits. If you skim your hand over it, you kind of bump it as you're going across, but it does not get in the way of typing or your other day-to-day -day activities on your laptop. Now, what do you think? Gimmick or game changer? Comment below. Let me know what you think. Links if you're ready to make a purchase, likes if this video has brought you some value, and subs if you don't miss out on the future uploads. I'll see you here in the next one.